Warriors Talk. Talk. We are your hosts, Abigail Ferguson and Brianna Hill. And today we're going to be talking about promoting good peacefulness and calmness in the classroom and good behavior. So Abigail, how can teachers promote calmness in the classroom? I think teachers can promote calmness in their classroom with a good routine, such as coming in the first 15 minutes and maybe doing an easy, nice bell ringer, mm-hmm. or not even an easy more so, more like, you know, something calm, something that will start our day off. Like a cold read? Yeah, a cold like, read, question or two, vocabulary, or you know, you can also, you know, talk around your friends, yeah. socialize. Mm-hmm. And I feel like another thing you can do to um, promote peace in the classroom yeah. is play music. Like, you don't need to play necessarily hip hop or R and B and stuff. Yeah. You can play like blues and like really get your head in the um, working mindset. Yeah, calmness. Having a good environment that kids can come in and know. Okay, I'm gonna do these two questions and then listen to a little bit of music and then get into today's good work. So yeah. Another thing? I oh no, before we get into that, I also oh. I also feel like um the use of music helps mm-hmm. students with the attention, attention span. Attention span. Attention span. Mm-hmm. Um you know, I feel like another thing that teachers can do is um establish rules in their classroom. Like, sure. like for instance, we have a problem with AirPods, phones, phones mm-hmm. and other electronics. Yeah. You know, you, know, you, you be walking into that, you see people like Right, like you're not supposed to have an iPad out, phone, anything electronic, really, unless it's a computer that you got from the teacher. And some teachers, they may, you know, turn a blind to it, but in mm-hmm. all, like, yeah. you know, some teachers are more lenient than the yeah. other teachers, and I feel like kids like know um, who to mess with, yeah, who to mess with, and like you know who they can't mess with, right? And I feel like um, also, I feel like a teacher's vibe radiates often to the students. So yeah. like, oh, what if you come up with like a rude attitude? Like, yeah. to a student, like, oh, I already don't like her. Yeah, yeah. like, why she's like, coming in with attitude towards yeah. me? And also, I also feel like teachers should use positive language in the classroom. Because what if somebody's having a rough day? And you're like, oh, how was your day? Or, you know, you can just say something to make them smile or, you know, at least make them feel better. Yeah, that's going to give more of like a calm mood and, you know, peaceful because that's really what you want. Other, you know, some homes or some places may not be as peaceful at school. Mm -hmm. And when you come to school, of course, it's not going to be that peaceful. But more so, if a teacher can do that in their classroom and keep their classroom to that type of medium where people can come and feel good, then I feel like that's I feel like for some students, school Mm -hmm. may be like an escape from home. Right. You know, you know when you go home, you know you have to deal with all the stress. Yeah. Like, um, I think work or whatever. Mm-hmm. Or some students that even have like rural college, or yeah. Broward college. You know they have to come home and do all this work. Plus, you know, um, the homework that you get in school. Mm-hmm. And also, I feel like, I feel like kids coming to school like it's also an escape because you know they can talk to their friends. They can mm-hmm. like participate, participate in PE. They have mm-hmm. their clubs that they can go to, you know, somewhere even yeah. on a team. Yeah. So, you know, that that might just make them feel like good inside. So yeah, doing that and feeling good inside, feeling good in yourself that you can come to school and have an escape is a really good promotion to school. Speaking of school promotions and policies, privileges, we want to go into behavior. 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 I feel like everything that mm-hmm. like maybe a person yeah. does affects like a whole group of people. A whole group of people. It affects like a whole group of people. For for example, like maybe you know you I don't know you cause a you cause a disturbance in the past or yeah. whatever. Maybe they can be like, oh, for this degree, you're gonna yeah. have this punishment. Yeah, or the whole class then gets a punishment. So it's not very cool to be that really an odd one out because then everybody has to feel. It's not really good to what show happens. out sometimes. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I also feel like you know. Um, Administration has been getting like really strict rules because mm-hmm. of our behavior. Like they have just been like a rise in the behavior this yeah. year at Somerset. Yeah. And most of us can't really get get to the privileges yeah. that we have. Like most of us, like some of us, we're not even probably not even gonna get the end of the year party for, like this continue. Yeah. And that's why we're making this podcast to, like promote calmness. You yeah. Know, calmness, good behavior. Because it, it really does mess up for everybody. And it's more so like, not selfishness, but like, 
logicness. Like, you know, you gotta, I, you gotta think, you gotta think mm-hmm. about how it's gonna affect other people, which I know like mm-hmm. not a lot of people really. Do. They don't think about that. Like they don't really care. Like fights and arguments, even like it could be as small as being in a classroom, the teachers talking and you're talking. You right. disturb the whole you class. Can, you can just like, and also like. You can be disrespectful to a teacher too. Mm-hmm. Maybe like you be disrespectful and she's like, no, we're not doing this anymore. Right. And like and like you know all the students, mm-hmm. you just get mad at you only and you like, right. oh, I feel like I have done nothing. Right. So it may be even again a small thing, but it still does matter, and we still need to make sure we maintain good behavior in all classrooms, all places, really, because with that you create good moral, good personality, mm-hmm. and a good way for others to see you and you see others. I also feel like um, going like going back to like mm-hmm. teachers establishing rules or like te- or like kids just following rules. Mm-hmm. I also feel like it doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter if you're in the field, you're in a gym, you're in the V lab, you're yeah. in the cafeteria. You just should follow the rules the whole entire time. Right. And maybe we can get some of those privileges back. Yeah, the privileges will be given back to us. You have to earn them. If if you guys. Or um, middle and high has a whole. Yeah, if you so. want privileges back, you have to earn. It. Yeah, you have to give in and give out. So again, going with both of our topics, calmness. If these teachers give in calmness, good peaceful, good energy, they get it back out. If we give in good behavior, following the rules, we'll get our privileges back out. See, it's all in the way that you treat mm-hmm. people. If you treat people like in a bad way, let's say I'm yelling at you, I'm disrespecting mm-hmm. you. Why do you feel like I will need feel the need to respect you back? Right. It's like vice versa. Student to teacher, teacher to student. So, um, to wrap up our podcast, hopefully you can take these tips and use mm-hmm. them in your classroom, and maybe you have a better environment. Yeah. And even for students, hearing this now, if you really do want a classroom like this, just abide by the rules and help your teacher. You can help your teacher by behaving and doing all the things that you need to do to help them further to get you a good environment in your classroom. But, yeah. So, uh, that's the end of this podcast. Um, Thank you all for today's episode. We will see you guys in episode two next Monday. And yeah, this is Bye Warriors. (laughs) Bye Warriors. Hey guys!